Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you all of the sheet masks that I have used for the month of January and December. And I have quite a few to show you. So if you are interested in what I use, then keep on watching. Okay, let's get started. The first one I'm gonna pull out is this one here from Naster. And this is the Elastic Q10. And it's a 15 minute mask pack from Naster. This is a Korean skincare line. And um, I used this so long ago that I don't really remember a whole lot about it other than that it was okay. Um, there wasn't anything bad about it because I definitely wouldn't remember that. Um, what kind of smell did this have? Not too bad, it had a little bit of a fragrance, but I did use one of those. I also have a Sky On, I think it's called Skin, but it's S-K-Q-I-N. It's this one right here. And this is the Dual Sissy Mask for wrinkle and moisturizing. And this one was a Clear Essence, um, very moisturizing. I liked the way that it um, fit. It was a little bit of a thicker, um, cotton type mask so um, there was no dripping it had an, enough essence to saturate the the mask but not be drippy but yet there was enough left in here that i could take and put all over my um, neck and um, decollete so that was a good one then i have this one from tony moly and this is the i'm real cactus mask sheet for purifying and all of the tony moly um, sheet masks are a little bit of a thinner sheet um, so if you don't like one that's really thick you would like this brand and you can get these um, pretty easily at Ulta. Uh, does Sephora carry Tony Moly? I don't remember but anyway I have that one and then this one this one was featured in my um, favorites video just recently and this is the Dr. Jart Ceramidin um, Dermacare Technology um, sheet mask. This had a um, it was milky essence. It was very moisturizing, very hydrating. Um, there was enough essence in here definitely to have on the sheet mask itself and then on the neck, on the decollete, on the arms, on the legs. It had a lot of essence in it that went a very long way. Um, this is a little bit on the pricier um, side as far as masks go. This one is around six dollars for one sheet where these other ones you can get for a couple of dollars but I do recommend it. Another one from Naster is the Red Wine Mask Pack. And this one smells so good. Just like a sweet red wine. <laughs> but yes, it was good and I do like that. I do recommend that one. Then I have, what brand was this? The JLC International, and this is the oatmeal one. I like to use something like this after I have done um, like maybe a, a really heavy duty peel, or um, I do use a little razor to shave my face, um, defuzz it. And after I've done that, I like to have something that's really um, soothing. And this is a good one for that. Then I have another Naster. This is the Collagen Mask Pack. Um, the Naster brand is very good. Um, I think all of their sheet masks that I've tried, I've liked. And you can find them very easily like at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. So if you see these at your Marshalls or TJ Maxx, then go ahead and pick up a box of those. And they're not very expensive at all for being as good as they are. And then this one is a new one from Tony Moly that I got. And this is the Honey Max sheet. Um, and it's the, for nourishing. Um, I think I was a little disappointed in it. I just felt like it wasn't as honey as I would like for it to have been. And wasn't as um, moisturizing as I would like to have been. So I did get that one. Then I have a... Oh, what brand is this? brand circle snail hydrogel mask is what it says i don't know what brand this is but anyway it looks like this um, anything that has snail in it is excellent for your skin snail slime or snail byproduct is a very good anti-aging anti-inflammatory nourishing hydrating um, product 
and it's very good for your skin. So anytime you can find something that has snow in it, go ahead and get that. Then I have one from Claire's. Claire's is another good uh, skincare brand. Um, I'm using a toner from Claire's that I absolutely love, and it will probably be showing up in a future favorites video. That was hard to get out. But anyway, this is the Rich Moist Soothing Sheet Mask. Again, a very good one to pick up and try. <clears throat> oh, this one is Tulsa Wong. Tulsa Wong. Is that how you say this? This is the Pure Propolis Mask. Um, this was a honey mask. Again, um, it was okay. I don't think once I run out of these that I would purchase these again. They just weren't as nourishing or as moisturizing as I want it to be for being a honey mask. Here's another um, snail mask, and this is from Benton. Um, again, another wonderful um, sheet mask. Can't go wrong with that. <clears throat> oh, here's a, a Le Metier de Butte sheet mask that I had. I just had this one. It came in some kind of kit that I had received. Um, I don't recommend these. They're very expensive. I think this is like 15 or maybe even $20 for one sheet mask. So, eh, it was okay. Oh, this one. This one was nice. This is the Sawaso, and it's the Snow Eyes Brightening Mask. Um, this was in one of my Beautylish Lucky Bags. And if these weren't so darn expensive, I would definitely get a box of these. But I think a box on Beautylish, a box of 10 is $130. That's just ridiculous. But it was a nice sheet mask, but I just can't justify the price on it. Then I had another one of these um, Pure Purpleless mask from the Tucson Wong. Um, here is a Wish a mask from Wish Trend, and it's the Hours Long Moisturizing Gauze Sheet Mask. This was a little, this was a kind of a different type of a um, sheet in that it was like a gauze. And I know it says hours long moisturizing, but that doesn't mean, because when I got it, I thought it was like you were supposed to leave it on for an hour. No, it's um, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes tops. But it was moisturizing fairly decently, but I just don't think I would want to purchase a whole bunch of these. This was in a kit that I purchased um, during the um, their Cyber Monday um, sale that they had and this was I think it was a freebie so then this one oh, I wish I could find more of these to me these are very comparable to the Tony Moly not the Tony Moly the too cool for school um, egg sheet mask that I like to talk about and this is the extra hydrating mask by Revive I found this at um, TJ Maxx for just a couple of dollars and for the life of me, I, I haven't seen them since. And I wished that I could get some more of those because I think they're just as good as the Too Cool for School, but cheaper. Another Tony Moly, and this is the Skin Purifying um, Magoli Mask Sheet for purifying. Another good one. Um, here's another Tony Moly. This is the Rose Mask Sheet. Didn't really have that much of a scent of rose, not as much as I would have liked because I love the smell of roses, but it was okay. I think this is one of the newer ones that just came out. It, it was okay. Let's we'll see. Here's another Tony Moly, and this is the avocado for moisturizing. Um, was a good one. Another Tony Moly. This is the pearl mask sheet for illuminating or illumination. So you can see, I was on a Tony Moly kick <laughs> for some reason. Oh, I had another one of these. I think I was just trying to use them up. I think what it was is I used one one night and I thought, eh, it's okay. But I thought, well, maybe it needed to be one of those that you see better results the more you use them. So I pulled out what I, quite a few of I had that I had, but it was okay. Now this one, this one was really good. This is something that I received from Octoly, and this is uh, from Patchology. It's the Milk Peel um, 5 Minute Flash Mask. You can leave it on for 5 minutes or you can leave it on longer if you like. 
I personally like to leave my mask on for at least a good 20 to 30 minutes and I really felt like this had some really good exfoliating properties to it. This one is from the from Peach and Lily. It's the reset button for Soothe and Restore. And again, I use this after I would um, shave my face when it was a little raw and irritated. And then I have this guy. Now this guy, I have the hardest time with this because it's in three parts. It's a vitamin C mask. And the concept of it is good because it has your dry sheet mask on one side and then it has like the essence on the other side and then up here in this little pocket is like the sea powder and you're supposed to the directions say to roll this up and then to squeeze it and pop it and it's supposed to open it to where everything mixes it doesn't do that but i like the concept because then you're getting your front your c vitamin c mixed fresh and um, it's a little bit more potent that way, but you know, I have a couple more of these. Who are these from? The Roju Kiss. Yeah, Roju Kiss, I think is what that says. Anyway, so I have that one. I mean, I recommend it other than, I think what I'm gonna do on my next one is I'm just going to cut it across the top and then pull it all open this way and just mix it that way instead of trying to roll it and pop it because it doesn't, it won't pop open for me like it's supposed to. <laughs> anyway, okay, then I have from Tony Moly, these little sheet masks. Um, these came out at Christmas, but I bought them way after Christmas. I had them on like super discount at Ulta, but it's just the um, Shea Butter sheet mask very good for hydration really good for this time of year um, the v2 oxygen eye mask right here Oop, there you go maybe you can see it better that way these were okay not my favorite as far as an eye mask goes but they were okay this one oh i didn't like this and i ordered like 10 of these but this is the panda eye essence mask from oh no 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 i have my i have chase and pepper here with me and the dog is here also and these old guys are trying to get out and um that would be a disaster anyway what brand were these from oh. does it say on here Anyway, but the reason why I didn't like these is because the essence, okay, it's to go underneath your eye, but the essence, if you get the essence in your eye, it burns, stings, and made my eyes water. I did not like that, so I want to use some other ones, but I don't recommend them. Okay, Penny, you're going to have to quit harassing the sugar gliders. <laughs> yeah, I know you want to get to them. See, they're right here. Let's see if they can make a little cameo appearance here if you can see them that one right there that you can see right now is chase yes he's a little sweetheart the other one pepper she's the devil let me tell you she is a spawn of satan anyway okay we're almost done oh i had this how did i have this this must have been a sample or something the exuviance intensive eye treatment mask uh, i don't remember anything about it so it must have not been that good and then these guys these i bought during the sephora vib cell and i still don't understand how these are supposed to work but it's the karuna under eye plus melting boost eye patches penny you're going to have to get down <clears throat> they look like this right here but anyway they're dry they are dry uh-uh okay chase all right we're fixing to have a disaster here let me put that little thing back on all right you get back in there If he was to get out, I wouldn't be able to catch him. That's why I don't want him to get out. <clears throat> okay. 
Anyway, they are dry. And what you're supposed to do is you put them underneath your eye and then you're supposed to wet your fingers and get your fingers wet and then kind of pat it on to get it in place. And then you're supposed to put a sheet mask, a normal face mask over that. And then the essence from your sheet mask then is supposed to help to <clears throat> to dissolve those. They don't completely dissolve, but they get really like in little pieces. I don't know. I would never buy them again because they're just weird. And I don't think they really do anything. But anyway, there's that. <laughs> I didn't realize that that was, when I first opened one up, I was like, oh man, they're all dried out. But then I got to reading it. Yeah, it says it reduces appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, intensifies sheet mask results from your face mask. And it said must be used under a Karuna mask, sheet face sheet mask. Anyway, so that is it for all of my sheet masks that I have used for the last couple of months. I hope that you have enjoyed and will give me a thumbs up. Also go ahead and click on the subscribe button and then also on the little bell icon so that you're notified of all future videos. And I will be talking to you soon. Bye.